Good morning from a very hot and sweaty Bangkok. It is currently 39 degrees Celsius outside and super humid. And we chose this day to head out exploring in Bangkok. So as you'll probably know by now, Ina's mom came to pay us a visit and we've been spending the last week or so with her exploring and having a lot of fun. And today we're gonna take her out and do some of the touristy things that you guys might be interested in doing if you are coming to Bangkok. Buckle up, stay tuned for a very sweaty vlog today. I can guarantee you, you're gonna gonna see me generally soaked for most of the day. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, it feels good to be in Bangkok. It does. We keep saying Nairobi though, don't we? We do keep saying Nairobi. It's been a while since we've been in a big city, but we're gonna go and get some breakfast, aren't we? Malia, what are you gonna have? Pancakes? I had a ginormous bucket of sugary popcorn last night, so I figured I don't need the carbs this morning. Okay. <laughs> okay, I realized it's quite hard to find somewhere that opens early for breakfast in the morning, but we found a place. They do very nice Nutella pancakes. How was your breakfast? Good. Good coffee. Good breakfast. Malia enjoyed her banana Nutella pancakes. We're heading now to move our stuff to the next hotel and then head on straight for our first activity. How many years since we've been to Bangkok? Oh, I don't know. It's been several years and obviously since then we've lived in Kenya. So Nairobi is our nearest reference of a big city. And then coming back here it's like so overwhelming because there's just stuff everywhere. You can buy anything you want to buy. You can do anything you want to do. It's like seems like this giant playground isn't it and the mall we went to last night was spectacular we're gonna take you guys there on one of these vlogs as well but yeah today let's go adventuring you ready yeah i think so this usually is our... this is our setup but this one's mom's yeah you missed this one and yeah we're missing that one as well i actually feel like we're missing something is that all the bags is that it has our... to be all the bags it's our driver it's a no. nice car all right Let's go. Are we all in? We are, just about. Okay, Let's go. go. Thanks. I think I put it off. I managed to find some the same color as the shorts yeah, I was already wearing. Together. First of all, welcome to the Grand Palace. Second of all, you used to be able to rent clothes here. Now you have to buy, I'm guessing since COVID. You have to cover your legs, whether you're a man or a woman. The total for a pair of trousers and a skirt for you was 389 baht. It's actually not a complete rip off, but yeah, it's not too bad. So as I said, we are at the Grand Palace here in Bangkok. Just a little bit of information. The Grand Palace, according to the information that I've read, was built in 1782, I believe it is. It's actually still the active residence for the king here in Thailand. I don't know where he lives. I don't think he lives where we are right now because that wouldn't be very clever. I've been here a few times, so we're more here for the grandma to experience this. Either way, it's really, really beautiful, and it's one of the must-do activities if you're coming to Bangkok. You have to come to this place because it's just everything in one. You've got temples, you've got beautiful buildings, you've got culture, it's all here. Oh, 
so it is an extremely hot day and you can just see everybody here is absolutely struggling the mother is on the floor already and the guys have gone to a cafe so yeah we lost half of the team but at least the view is good what's the temperature today it's 35 degrees but feels like 40. So the entrance to the temple is 500 baht and the opening times are at 8.30 a.m. which I don't know I still believe that it's quite late especially with the heat and the temperatures and stuff it is so hot we don't mind to get started at 7 a.m. but some things don't open until much later it's still a very very beautiful temple and really really worth visiting So we had to get out of the heat. Right now it is baking hot in Bangkok. The plan was to do a few activities throughout the day that were all outside. We did one. How was it, Maria? How was the Grand Palace? Hmm? Bad. She didn't enjoy it too much being in the heat. And to be honest, neither did we. It was quite intense. So change of plan now. Yesterday we came here to Siam Paragon, which is behind me right now. And we saw they have one of the coolest food courts that we've ever been to, right? So we were like, hey, why don't we go there, try some food, be in the air conditioning, and show you guys what one of the best malls in Bangkok City is like. And go to the playground. And they have an awesome kids' playground called Play Mondo upstairs. Let's go. Let's go. Correction, the playground is actually next door in Central World, which is next to Siam Paragon. My mistake. Yeah, and why do you look confused about it? It looks like meat. What's it supposed to be? Mushroom. Oh. Is that mushroom or meat? I'm so confused. <laughs> I mean. Ready, set, cheers. What's that? It's gonna blow your mum's head off. <laughs> How is it? Really, really nice. Northern style spicy sausage. It's done by weight, so I misunderstood. I thought it was going to be like 60 baht, and it was like 180. So I guess this is my lunch. Okay. For 75. You had these yesterday, right? They were very nice. I would actually get some as well. I think they're shrimp, mm -hmm. shrimp dumplings. Okay, so we now have bao buns, we have the custard cream and black beans with sesame seeds. I don't think Mali has ever had them before, so, and I don't think mom did. Let's see what they think. Mom, did you ever have the bao buns? These guys? No, actually, I've never tried them. Right, I'm gonna break one in half, and then let's see if you and Mali are like them. Like that. Ooh. 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 Are you gonna try some Mali? I'll eat, I'll eat the small piece because I also want to try it. How was it? Interesting. <laughs> I like them. These are quite big. Really nice. Okay, number two. Yeah, I prefer this okay, one. I think Mali is gonna like the custard one. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Fish eat the inside also. Yes. It's like cream. What, what do you do think? You, like? you like it? It's good. Alright, it's that time. So we've got mung bean jelly with coconut cream. I asked the lady which one was her favorite, she said this one. So I don't think mum's ever tried Thai dessert. So. We have to finish this food experience with some dessert. I like the one with the random corn on it. Wow, that many like quite like jelly. Oh, you eat them with a spoon. Okay. 
Lydia, you don't look convinced. Very strange. So the Thai desserts are not your typical, it's not the typical desserts that we have. And like, I'm used to it, so I actually really like this. It looks a little bit like aloe vera inside. <laughs> I have corn in mine. So, 40. What are we getting? Getting some fried banana because I love fried and banana, and then grilled banana with syrup. All the bananas. I thought we done with the Yeah, but then we saw bananas. <laughs> not yet, because of why not? How is it? I tried the banana with syrup first. I've never had it before. It wasn't that great, but I feel like this is going to be good. Is it crispy? to 10. Okay, I'm gonna say six because it could be sweeter. It's not a very sweet banana. You like it? They're very nice. Yeah, they're a bit strange. Bacon. I think I prefer this one. Yeah. back from a very hot and sweaty day out in Bangkok. It's ridiculous right now. It's the end of the dry season, just about to go into rainy season. So it is just this brutal 39 degrees. Just coming back then in the tuk-tuk, it was literally like someone had a hairdryer and was just blowing it in my face. I thought it was gonna be refreshing and it just wasn't. But we're back now and we have beautiful air conditioning and we are back in our beautiful accommodation as well. So when we were looking for places to stay, I found this really unique boutique hotel here in the old town. And we like looking for places that are a little bit different. And this one is definitely different, right? Great. So yeah, it's this really cool vibe of like old property that's been modernized, but also at the same time holds its soul. And they've come in, they've got this like some interior design magic that they're working. This room that we're staying in right now is actually a duplex. We've got this little living room down here, coffee machine and everything, and then upstairs is where the bedroom is, and it's all really, really nicely done, right? It's really cool. I love the stairways, mm -hmm. even though sometimes they can be a little bit narrow walking up. It's a very different and unique, like, you can look at the walls and, you know, I've got this kind of, like, stuff. Yeah. It's very cool. And the restaurant as well, we're really excited. They have a really cool, trendy bar and restaurant here that's just called Din. They've got jazz on tonight and it's supposed to be a really classy, beautiful little place. So very excited about that. But let's show you guys around a little bit outside the room as well, because even the common spaces have this... I can't really explain it, I have to show you. So this is the main area where all the rooms are and it is hands down the most unique property that we've ever stayed in. I think that's fair, right? Yeah. It's, I don't even know what style this is, but I find it really interesting and it like, it gives me a lot of feelings. I don't know, like it's kind of, I love this bare brickwork and everything. It's just super, super raw. But then you've got the staircase, which is refined and beautiful and these old pieces of furniture everywhere and the skeletons. I kind of want to meet the person who built this place or designed this place and just get inside their mind and right, understand. Let's, let's go ask for a meeting. Okay, that's it. But the property itself actually is dates back to the 1700s and originally the entire lower level was actually just stilts and nothing underneath. So everything upstairs is like the original building from the 1700s and then they used to raise them up because they were all made of wood and there was lots of floods and things and wood and water obviously don't go well together and now it is this stunning little hotel. 
going on here? What have I, don't I missed? Know. It's a style of coffee. I had a coffee before that came with like tasting notes. You're in Bangkok. Food is here. We started with cold cups. Lots of options for everybody. Which one is Malia going for? This. <laughs> the cheesy biscuits. Then mom's got hers, which is prawn. What mom? Prawn with fried rice. But the size of that prawn, I never ever. She's finished. never seen a prawn this, this big. This is my hand. I think it's a lobster. <laughs> Alright, and mine is banana fried shrimp. Looks pretty oh, good. Four massive shrimps. Alright, let's get top ten. Let's get messy. Let's get messy. <laughs> to come here. Everybody else is here today. So it's Sunday and it's really, really busy. We have to wait, but hopefully it won't be too long. 10 to 20 minutes. Strangest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I've never seen a cat that looks like this guy before. And he's looking at me like he knows I'm talking about him now. He's he like, he's like, he's coming out now, babe. He's coming to you. That about wraps it up for today. We've had a really good time here in Bangkok. It's always nice visiting places like the Grand Palace, even when it is 39 degrees outside and you're just dying and just need air conditioning and water. It was a bit of a challenge with Malia doing these kinds of things and we did have to adjust our plans slightly because of that, but that's what it's all about. It's about adapting as a family to make things more comfortable for her and therefore making things a bit more comfortable for us. So it was nice to go to the Grand Palace. Would definitely recommend checking out Siam Paragon Mall. The food court downstairs is unbelievable, really good. Don't get me wrong, it is not the most authentic local food court. You are gonna pay more down there because of the location because of what it is but the food quality is amazing we really enjoyed it Ina's mom really enjoyed trying different things and, and going down there we are going to do a full food vlog of a proper Bangkok market coming soon so stay tuned and then finally the cat cafe was a lot of fun the cats were let's say quite well fed but very well looked after the good thing about cats is most of these guys they do sell treats and things that you can give the cats the cats are pretty good just being like over it so when they're full and they don't want to eat anymore you can tell you just go and try to give them this treat and the cat is just like no <laughs> it just walks away it's worth checking out it's 200 baht per person to go in but you get to spend that while you're in there so we've had drinks and food and cake and things like that so overall it was a great experience we hope you've enjoyed we do have a lot more coming from bangkok we obviously had to modify this one somewhat because of the temperature comment down below what you would really like to see us doing here in bangkok we really care what you think so if there's something that we have to do here in bangkok comment down below let us know hope you've enjoyed 
enjoyed. If you're not subscribed already, please join us here on the channel, subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and turn on those notifications so you can be the first to watch our next vlogs. Enjoy and see you next time.